Happy New Year everybody and welcome back to Classic Replay. This video is the Commodore 64 Top 10. In the competitive world of home computers, the Commodore 64 is absolutely unbeatable. With its enormous 64K memory, its printers, plotter, disk drive, monitor, and its vast range of software, we believe the only thing the Commodore 64 doesn't have is any serious competition. The Commodore 64. Never forget it's the world's biggest selling home computer. Who am I to argue? The reality is, at the time, this was like a mini arcade machine for the home, and no other game portrays that more so than Bubble Bobble for the Commodore 64. Although that uh, advertisement from the UK there is a bit aggressive, I have to admit there are a lot of games on the Commodore 64 that um, captured the spirit of the arcade originals. If you don't already know, I was an Amstrad CPC bunny back in the day with good access to the ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64, Commodore 16 and MSX. Now this next one needs no introduction. It's Bruce Lee and it's absolutely fantastic. I still play it to this day. I played it on the Amstrad CPC, the ZX Spectrum, but in my personal humble opinion, it doesn't play out any better than on the Commodore 64. Although the graphics look basic and it sounds very basic, it's the level design and the game itself, the playability that captures you and pulls you back for that one more go. What an absolute testament to game design. Fantastic. I first played this on the Amstrad CPC and I thought it was absolutely brilliant on that system. I then later played it on the Commodore 64 and just couldn't believe my eyes. It's fast paced, it's frantic, it's colourful, it sounds amazing and plays an absolute blinder. The shoot 'em up section, horizontal shoot 'em up section needs to be seen to be believed. And it all sums up to this being one of the best games on the Commodore 64. Again, for my sins, I originally played this on the Amstrad CPC after reading a review in Amstrad Action where they rewarded it master game status. And although it doesn't feature scrolling, I absolutely swear by it. But this version is absolutely amazing. Once you get the actual hang of the game, there's nothing else like it. This really is a truly original game. For those who believe innovation is nothing but a buzzword, show them this. I guarantee 100% they'll be blown away. There's so many good races on the Commodore 64. Stunt Car Racer, Turbo Outrun, Turbo Charge, Power Drift, and many more. But for me, non-bettered Pit Stop. And the multiplayer element is absolutely superlative. Seriously, I cannot fault this game. It's really addictive. It's fast paced. Corners come thick and fast. And I remember not being able to put this one down. I'm not sure what I love more, the Commodore 64 or the memories of playing this game. Let's face it, this is a very early version of Sensible Soccer. But saying that, this is the best football game I've ever played on an 8-bit machine. I can almost hear Emlyn Hughes International Soccer fans wincing. But rest assured, I love that game as well. I'm not going to lie to you, it really did come down to the toss of a coin. The 64 really did have a good abundance of uh, footy games. But this primarily is the one I kind of come back to. I knew nothing about this game on the Commodore 64. I originally played it on the ZX Spectrum, then later on the Amstrad CPC, which is, was kind of like a cut down version. But then I played this and it blew everything away. You really have to play this game to believe it, to believe that it's all happening within 64K. The graphics, the presentation, the sound, everything is absolutely brilliant. The programmers deserved an absolute knighthood for this. It 
It's difficult to pin it down, but this is one of my favourite games of all time, especially on the Commodore 64. I had it on the Amstrad CPC, but it was absolute pish. They really did nail the presentation and the graphics in this game. I did later play it on the Atari Lynx and the Sega Mega Drive, but there's no place like home on the Commodore 64 for California games. Still can't believe this game. I saw it late in the Commodore's life. You'll probably think I'm crazy saying this, but I prefer it to the original Mario games on the NES. Apart from Mario 3, that was a really special game. But it's got absolutely everything the Commodore 64 shouldn't be able to do. I personally found it difficult. There's a steep learning curve. But it's one if you stick with, the reward's absolutely boundless. It's only fair we have some honourable mentions because there's so many great games on the 64. And let's kick it off with Who Dares Wins 2. I loved Commando on the 64. I loved it on the Amstrad CPC. I loved it even more on the Speccy. But there's something about this cheap budget game on the 64 that massively reels me in. I can't tell you why, I don't know why, but I absolutely love Who Dares Wins. There's so many great shoot 'em ups on the Commodore 64, I really didn't know where to start, but this is one of the games that I come back to on a regular basis. So I've chosen it purely on the basis that it's the one that pulls me back in the most. Also, they did um, a remake of this on the uh, Nintendo Switch recently, and I played the absolute cartridge out of that. It's just one of those games that encapsulates that one more go, and you can't stop playing until you've seen it through to the end. So for me personally, it's absolutely brilliant. The only reason I chose Turrican 2 over this is because the shoot 'em up sections on Turrican 2 uh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. That's not to say that these shoot 'em up sections in this game aren't brilliant as well. I guess the second game is just bigger and badder than the first. I've never understood the issue with producing a game, even if it's a sequel, with more of the same great stuff of the original. Nothing beats a good game of golf. And until Jack Nicholas and the PGA Tour series, nothing touched this on the Commodore 64 or the other 8 bits. I probably shouldn't admit to this, but I still play leaderboard, tournament leaderboard, till this day. For me personally, this is definitely one of the best games US Gold ever, well, one of the best sports games US Gold ever published for the uh, Commodore 64. And it's the reason I play golf today. Talk about Arcade Perfect. Buggy Boy plays an absolute blinder on the Commodore 64. I don't think there's anything else like it. I had it on the Amstrad CPC originally. I played the Specky version as well. Love both of those. But this, uh, oh, I played the Amiga version as well. But this trumps them all. It's so fast and so smooth. You can't believe you're playing it on uh, an 8-bit system. I mean, for comparison, play the Amstrad CPC version. It's absolutely brilliant, but it's much slower compared to this. I'm now thinking it should have made the list. I can never make my mind up which I love most, Beachhead or Raid Over Moscow. I guess the only problem with Raid Over Moscow is the initial hangar section, which I found absolutely infuriating and difficult. But I really wanted this in my top 10 and uh, Beachhead 2 as well. But alas, it was not to be because the reality is there's other games that I preferred ahead of this. So ultimately, I hate doing top 10s, but it is good to revisit your favorite games. So drum roll. For me, IK Plus 
was the ultimate fighting game on the Commodore 64. Yes, there were some greats before it. Way of the Exploding Fist, International Karate, and uh, many more. But this took it that extra mile with the third fighter. Fantastic animation and gorgeous backdrops. You were basically the Karate Kid. And it felt like a real fight. If you were beaten, it was your fault. But you could get back up, readdress the situation, and seriously kick some butt on your way to that black belt. Anyway, I've spoken enough here. You can watch this video until the end. If you like this video, then please do me the honor of subscribing. There's the bell that you can click as well, which basically lets you know when I've uploaded a video. And please leave a comment, like, and let me know if there's anything you think I've missed or want me to cover. Enjoy the rest of the vid, and until next time, bye!
Thank you.